Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Sabi Panel and in today's video we will be learning about how you can delete your WooCommerce products permanently. So uh, sometimes you might need to delete your products if you are moving your products or, or you have a new inventory or you want to just get a new batch of inventory, your, your current inventory is outdated and you need a new batch and you just want your site to be cleaned of the previous products. For that purpose you would need to delete your products permanently and in today's video we will be discussing three methods number one we will be using uh, the manual way to delete our products number two we will be using the sql command to delete our products and number three we will be using the smart manager plugin so without further ado let's just jump straight to the video okay guys so first of all we will be seeing how you can delete woocommerce products using the default woocommerce way which is basically to delete uh, your products manually. So this is a very suitable way if you have a, a small amount of products or a small pool of products prof, uh, probably less than 100 this is a very nice and secure way to delete your products that way. So just simply go into your WordPress uh, dashboard from here click on products from the left hand side corner and from this list you can go through each and every one of your products and select them whichever ones that you want to delete and click on bulk actions and click on move to trash and simply click on apply so once you do that you'll see that those uh, products are now deleted if you want to delete all of the products and simply click on this little button and it will delete every one of the products and again just go into bulk actions, click on move to trash and click on apply and all of the products will be deleted. So this is actually a very simple way and a very easy way to delete uh, products but it is going to take a lot of time if you have a lot of products since you only get to uh, delete a number of products at one time. Okay, so this is the first method. So now let's check out the second method which is to delete your WooCommerce products using an SQL command. So for example, your products are within um, a database, we are going to delete or empty up that database to eventually delete all the products from your WooCommerce site. Now this is a very uh, smart move if you have like a lot of products and you want to delete them all in one go. But of course you need to have really advanced coding knowledge to go with this method since a little mess up with the code can result in uh, a really big mess up. Okay, so we're going to see how you can delete that. For, uh, first of all, log into your CyberPanel account from here, click on the databases and click on PHP My Admin. Once you do that, you will be redirected to your PHP My Admin panel. From here, Simply, uh, first of all, you need to uh, back up your data. Now, that is super important so that if by any chance or by mistake you do mess up uh, with the code, you already have a secure database created. You can always check out our video about how to delete, uh, how to backup and restore databases for that purpose. Okay, so once I am done with that, simply let's click on SQL. From this top bar and this is where you can enter your query I'll be entering this these queries now the first batch of the queries is to remove all attributes from WooCommerce the second batch is to delete all WooCommerce products and the third is to delete the often post meta so this, these are some really important codes. I'll be mentioning this, uh, this code in the description of the video also. So just copy this and paste it over here. Once I, you do that, just simply click on go and all of your data will be deleted. I will not be clicking on go since I still have one, uh, another method to tell you about. So this is how you can delete your products using the SQL command. Now let's check out the final method. Okay, so we have seen how we can delete using uh, the manual way, uh, using the WordPress manual way. We have seen how we can delete our products using SQL. Now, the manual way was good if you have a little uh, pool of products. SQL command is great if you have a greater pool of products. 
now we're going to see how we can do this uh, delete the woocommerce products using a plugin for that purpose go into plugins and click on add new now search for smart manager install this by store apps once it's, it's installed activate this and when you activate it you will be able to see your smart manager tab on the left hand side menu but before that you need to uh, a little, do a little let's start it with smart manager let's click on that and it will simply redirect you to your manager. So this will give you a very smart Excel-like uh, sheet in which you can do your changes. You can delete, if you have small pool of data uh, of products, you can delete a larger pool of uh, products, whichever one you want. So this is a very versatile plugin in that regard. All right, so again, in this way, you can first of all export your CSV so that you have a backup of your products. Secondly, in the same way, the manual way, you can uh, click them one by one and click on delete and you can choose either to move to trash or delete permanently. Move to trash would be a safer option so that your products are still in the trash bin and you can uh, retrieve them if by mistake you have deleted something that you don't want to delete. In the same way, you can select every one of the items. You can check out your stuff over here too. So if this is a very versatile plugin in that regard and again, you can just simply click on uh, select all, click on delete, either delete permanently or move to trash. You can, if you're selecting all of it, you can simply go to delete permanently if you want to just empty up your product list. So that's the third way using the plugin, the smart manager plugin. And we have just gone through three methods. Number one, by manually. Number two, by an SQL command. And number three, by using the smart manager plugin. So that's it for the day. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the panel.